Today, we are talking about the knife cases that I use to store my knives. Let's get in. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Everyday Minimalist. My name is Brandon and I hope you're having a fantastic day. If you're new here to the channel, I review knives, EDC gear, and then other products. So if you're interested in seeing more, then go ahead, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell icon so you know when that next video is live. In today's video, I wanted to address a bunch of your guys' questions about knife storage. And I have three different options in front of me today and this is what I've been using since I started knife collecting. But let's just back it up a few years ago. I actually did not have anywhere to store any of my knives and they would just sit on my bookshelf collecting dust. If you are one of those people, then this is going to be a good video for you. I've got suggestions for budget options. If you have a big collection, we've got a big case here and then security options. So that way, if you have some really expensive knives, you can store that safely. With that being said, let's just jump right in to my first case option. This is the Pelican Vaults V100. These guys range anywhere between 40 to 50 bucks on Amazon, which I'll be leaving a link link for all these cases in the description below. And this was my first case that I purchased. It comes in a desert tan as well as a blackout version. And as you can see, I decided to go with the tan version. Now, these cases are really cool because they're pretty accessible. So this is how you open up the case. There's two latches here up front. You just push down the button and then each side will come undone. This bad boy just opens right up. And the first thing that you're greeted with is this foam layering. Another cool thing about Pelican cases, especially the vault series is they actually are weatherproof. So it has these rubber seals built into the interior of the case, which is just top notch. Now with the foam, you can actually take this out and you'll be able to see most of my knives laid out in there. I've got a total of 10 mid-sized knives and then some of them are relatively small, but they can actually just sit there up on top. You could probably jam pack up to 12 knives per layer. And what I mean by layers is it basically comes with a couple of these foam layers. So you can actually remove the first top layer, the knives will just come out like this and you'll get access to the bottom layer. So in reality, you can probably fit up to 24 knives in this case. So I wanna get into why I purchased this case in the first place. Basically, I was starting to invest into more high-end knives and I didn't want them to start collecting a lot of dust. Especially with me being a collector, I'd rather have that safe and secure in a spot where there's absolutely no airflow, no dust, and have something that's gonna be robust that can protect my investments. The Pelican Vault V100 is a fantastic buy. I definitely recommend it to anyone that is actually starting to get into knives or they're trying to expand their collection. Again, it's only about 50 bucks and it will be able to protect all of your knives for a very long time. So if you don't go past 20 knives, I think this would be a suitable option for you. In terms of closing the case, you literally just pop it down. It literally just locks in and you're good to go. The knives do not jiggle around at all. Basically that foam layering is keeping it very snug and tight. Now with my first year of collecting, I definitely outgrew this thing, so I wanted to upgrade. Now the next option is gonna be the Pelican Vault V200. This is quite a bit bigger than the standard V100, and it's literally just the bigger version of the V100. I like that case so much that I upgraded to this one, and this actually holds and carries most of my knives. It's the same exact setup, so you just basically undo these latches. It opens up and then you've got more foam here. You've got another very large foam insert. And this one basically has double the capacity of the V100. You can fit about 20 knives per layer and there's two layers available. I haven't even filled up the first layer. Hopefully that's gonna fill up soon, but for now this is perfect. For $10 more, it's not bad. And if you collect a bunch of knives or invest into more expensive knives, have a large collection, then I think this extra $10 is definitely worth it. And one thing that I didn't mention about the V100, which it actually has, is gonna be this airtight seal. So if you're actually putting this into like an aircraft and the air pressure changes, this will be able to accommodate for that. So that way the box doesn't actually explode on you. Okay, so the final and last option I've got here is the most secure option. This is the Voltec Life Pod. This is pretty much a portable safe. They go for anywhere between 110 bucks to $200. Again, I will be leaving a link in the description below. I went with the 
limited edition OD green, which is only available at BattleBox. And I believe they make it in black, orange, and a bunch of different colorways. So how the vault tech life pod works is it basically has a latching system that you undo on each side. And it has an electronic latch there, so you can't undo this cover until you actually punch in the code. I'll just go ahead and punch in my code here real quick. And that's how it opens up. Once it's opened up, then you can actually unveil what's inside. I keep most of my expensive knives inside this case, and it does come with this custom peel ply foam, which makes it so that you can customize what you want inside this box. As you can tell, I have four knives in here and pretty much just peeled out two cubes per layer. This works great for anywhere between a large knife, so like the Chris Reeve and Kosi, all the way down to a small knife like the Chris Reeve Small Sabenza. This case also does have weather sealing, which is super convenient. That means if I do bring this on a trip, it's gonna stay very secure. It's powered off of one single nine volt battery. And then at worst case scenario, it does come with a separate spare key just in case you run out of power. Another really cool feature of this case is on the lid, you can actually pull off this card holder, which you can put your passport, any other documents. If you wanna throw in a pen, it has this mesh here at the very bottom. And this can pretty much hold your entire EDC load out. And that just Velcros back in on the case and you are pretty much good to go. So I primarily keep this case on my bookshelf. That way, if I ever have to get into my more expensive knives, it's just really easy to grab and unlock. The way that you lock it is you just basically hold this lock pad and then it locks right up. This is probably one of my most favorite cases just because I do have some very expensive knives and this just keeps everything safe, secure, it'll keep all the dust out and it's gonna be weatherproof. If I ever go on long extended trips, I can also take out that peel ply foam. It does come with another foam layer so I can just lay out my wallet and other accessories. This thing will fit right into my EDC bag and it is absolutely perfect. I know there's a bunch of other knife case solutions out there. These are just the ones that I personally use and can recommend to you guys. But there you guys go. Those are my three recommendations on what knife cases I actually own and can recommend to you guys. I'm actually kind of curious, how big is your knife collection and what case do you like the most? Or if you have a different solution, give me some recommendations that I can test out in the comments section below. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.